Yo, yo. You got the king himself, T.I. What's happening? What's going down? First of all, where are you at? It looks so picturesque, which I feel like this is. Oh, you, you in the backyard you. with it. This you in the you. backyard with it. Nah, actually, in my front yard. Oh, you in the front yard with okay. it. Okay. Yeah, in my front yard. Okay, okay. my front yard do not look like Yeah, I mean, like my front that. yard don't look like that, but. It cool. You got acres and acres of land. We got enough to live a life, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my family's yeah. life in here, and we live. I, I see you with the uh, the hat too. Wait, yeah. Up. Do you see Tip? That we have a we have an imposter trying to. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you, you got a yeah, yeah. Hey, man, man, you know, man. Trying to steal a drip. Trying to steal a drip. Real quick. What'd you, you say, first Tip? Agree? Say it again. I say he first degree hat Tilton, first degree. Oh, first yes. It's getting okay. there though. Nah, What's we up? We gotta pay homage because even though it's the shade room, it's no shade from us at all. We literally like we we love you, Tip. We like we appreciate yeah. everything that you've been doing musically, um, for the community, all that. So we can't wait for you to, you know, chop it up with us real quick. You stepping into the shade room, so let's get it. Let's do it. Yes, yeah, of course. I, I want to talk. I want to go back to a conversation that we all had, man. Who do you think started trap music? Think. Oh, who do you know? <laughs> There's no, th it need to be no thought applied when you're dealing with facts. I want you to find trap music, the word trap and music used before my album in 2003. I would just invite you to go find it. Okay. Hey, bro, listen, I already know. Like, it'd be the base. But it's a whole museum, though, that. dedicated to this, though. It's a whole museum. You know, I felt like, you know, it was a teachable moment, you know, because there have been many contributors. And, you know, my efforts and my efforts alone wasn't enough uh, or could, could not be enough uh, to get it to where it is today. So I salute and celebrate all contributors to the genre. Uh, but, you know, if, it, if you say start it, like as in the first to do it, you know, you got to go. You got to, only, a, only a fool disputes facts. We got to go with Tim. Speaking of the Trap Museum, man, like, are we going to get the Trap Museum outside of Atlanta? Yeah. Like, are we going to get it in L.A., New York, Miami? Where are we getting it at? Absolutely. We're looking into it right now. Uh, as we speak, we have the, the mobile unit, you know, which is the tiny trap house. And it's in uh, it's in Miami right now, man. Been doing numbers. Uh, well, shout out to Trick, Trina and everybody else, man, who done came and celebrated and, you know what I'm saying, turned up with us down there. But we are presently in the, in the process of partnering uh, in other states and other regions, man, so we can celebrate, you know, uh, uh, regional artists that have made an impact throughout the throughout the genre and, and and the entire country uh we looking at houston we looking at new orleans we looking at la um and we excited about it that's awesome now look another thing people were excited about especially last year because last year it was like the battle of the verses right like everybody did a verse last year <laughs> and people want people wanted you tip they wanted to see tip doing verses uh, you know we had Jeezy and gucci do it 
Uh, we tried I think that's the best one so far. That was the best one yet to me. Yeah, okay. yeah I definitely yeah. feel like between Gucci and Jeezy and then the Monica and Brandy. Yeah. Top two. Top well, two. Mm, yeah, one. yeah, yeah. As yeah. like long as Atlanta involved. Yeah, definitely. So look, but I have to know, we were, first of all, too, we was we was hounding down 50 Cent to go with you in this versus battle. Like, <laughs> we was hounding, I was hounding him. I'm like, where he at? Where he at? That so man, look. that man, to bite the tail of an alligator before he get in a verse with me. That man, uh, <laughs> so yeah. look, moving forward, would you do a versus? And you know, now that they've been have been happening like crazy, who do you see yourself going against now? You know what, bro? I'm not even. It ain't even no big deal to me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Ti versus Tip to me. You know what I'm saying? It's it's probably the best versus. Uh, if, at this point, yeah, you know I mean, okay, so I, look, I, can, I, can, I can honestly, I, can I would tune in to that. I would <laughs> that was like a big moment yes. transitioning from tip to well, tip, well, ti to tip, yeah, man, versus yeah. and all that, man. And speaking of rap, man, look, tip, you've been in the game for so long, some consider you a legend, you are a legend, you got all Don't these accolades. A legend, man, that man here is flavoring. Hey, so look, consider listen. me a legend. Did hey, Tim, I, I got, hey, Tim, I got a legend. Did y'all hear this man? When that King album dropped, bro, from start to finish. Hey, it's, 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 it's an honor to be a part of people's lives and, and, you know, to be the soundtrack to the important moments. That's why that's why we so uh, connected to music, because it's tethered to the best parts of our lives. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's records that I Oh, wait, oh, hold, yeah, hold on, we can't hear you. We can't, we can't hear, you. hear you. Okay. Yeah, that was, there man, somebody's time. Anyway, I say it's records that I've dropped, it's albums that I've dropped, that you remember exactly where you were, what you were going through. You nice. know what I mean? And it's an honor to be a part of that. You know what I mean? So uh, I thank you, and I, you know, I'm honored to be a part of, of the culture. But do you think, when it comes to these rap conversations, do you feel like your name is mentioned enough, though? Man, I... I have no idea. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think that that is for the people in the in, in the stands to do. People in the stands, they, you know, they chime in and, and give opinions. Yeah. I'm too busy progressing and producing. I don't have time to get hung up on individual opinions. Okay, I know that's right. Look, yeah, and know. then speaking of that, producing and, and handling everything, one thing I know, like, you are you're really good at knowing, like, good music, you're so musically inclined to where you can pick out artists that you know that have that, that's something, like, you know, we've yeah. seen you, you know, take, you know, Young Bro's career, you, you know what I'm saying, to different heights, you even had interest in, you know, Travis Scott, we've seen Iggy Azalea, you've seen so many artists that you uh, have put your time into, but what does that really mean when you try to bring an artist on? Because I feel like, you know, it's hard for you maybe to handle developing an artist and also handling your own career as well. What does that really entail when you bring somebody on as an artist? Um, I mean, man, it's a it's a pleasure to contribute something to the culture that can go on to have longevity outside of my own career anytime it's possible. Um, and it ain't just the people who I've signed to my label that, you know what I'm saying, that I'm proud to be a part of their career. I, I mean, like, Meat Mill, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was a piece of, a, a piece of talent and, and a, a movement, really, an individual that I recognized some special in early, early, early on. And, you know what I'm saying, that to me is just as important, is just as much of an honor. Uh, to be able to kind of single that talent out and, and, and identify early on, you know, that's just as much of an honor as as, as having him on Grand Hustle. Uh, I think the relationships are a commodity, you know what I'm saying? So all of the relationships that we've built, the brands that we've built, the, the careers that we've had an opportunity to be a part of, it's led us right here to this moment so we could do it again for more people uh, throughout more generations. Look, I ain't mad at that. Come on, uh, 100%, man. <laughs> Speaking of signing people, Tim, you mentioned about you wanted to sign Drake. Is there anybody else that we don't know about that you <laughs> No, nah, man, I didn't sign? say that. I said, nah, what I said was I missed it. You know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, yeah, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So is there Yeah, anybody? I mean, I didn't, I didn't get it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get it, you know? Uh, but he's a phenomenal artist. He has incredible talent. You know what I'm saying? He has an illustrious career. You dig what I'm saying? Goat worthy. Um... But at the time, 
you know, the way my the way my lens was tilted, I, I didn't I didn't see it. But I you know, I take my hat off to him though. Do you yeah. do you think there's anybody else that you wanna sign but you didn't sign? Uh that I wanted to sign and I didn't sign. I mean, man, you know, it's man, it's strange cause we had these conversations all the time when I see him. Like, you know, cats like like Thug, you know what I'm saying, like uh uh Savage. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like pulled up on me and I, you know, I've been a part of them and we created a relationship, developing a relationship that we've maintained uh, ever since these moments. But they pull up on me and say, hey, bro, man, just give me a million dollars, man. Come on, man. You got it. Just give me a million dollars, bro. And I'm like, hey, listen, homie, if I give you a million dollars today, you ain't going to be able to really eat the way you need to eat out there being That ain't the way it go. And so I just pull up on them and give them game. Uh, and you know, I remember me and Savage had a conversation one time. He was just like, Man, look, bro, just give me, you know, give me a half a million right quick. Then I was like, Man, listen, man, all you got to do is be patient, the money gonna come, you know what I mean? And uh, I remember we put, I think it might have been right before criminal time, and we were telling this story. He said, Damn, show sure came. <laughs> I mean, and I thank you, those moments mean more to me than just. Going on, man. man, King, get your ass in the house. Put a <laughs> shirt on, man. Look at this. Look, look, hey, man. Look, hey, man. Hey, King, King said he tried. I can't. But look, just even like, look, with just you being on social media, right? Just being a presence. And your career has definitely, I know there's been a change in just the way that, like, you interact with your fan, inter interact with an audience because social media has changed so much. Um, do you feel at times though, like maybe I'm too accessible to people if I'm, you know, too on social media or I'm, I'm, I'm you know, letting my, my family be too accessible if I'm heavy on social media or if I'm uh, being so transparent with my audience? I mean, I don't really think selfishly of myself. I don't like, I'm here for a purpose, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I have been put here for a purpose. I have a purpose of calling on my life that existed far before I was born. So I'm thinking, you know, and that per I, I challenge perspective and offer people new ways of looking at things and viewing things. I'm not just finna go with the flow of whatever society standards are. And I mean, I, if I say something, it's because I feel like I'm in alignment with my purpose. And it ain't no limit on that it ain't i can't if i can't fit my my purpose into a post a day it'll be two you dig i will be gone and it's simple as that and that's how I, that's how i really base my decisions mm. I like that look. <laughs> to me, he's not like a true leader. I'm, I'm about to say. <laughs> I'm not a true leader. <laughs> That's a I true say leader. what I say and I mean what I mean. Okay. I mean, but it ain't, because, you know, to me, social media, uh, as, as beneficial as it has been and as entertaining as it has been, um, I have an analogy. All right, so y'all know me. If y'all come to my house, come to my backyard, to my pool, you, you, you know, you might hop in it, even though it's people in there that you don't know because you know me, right? Mm -hmm. And the same as if I come to y'all house. I might get in y'all pool, and if there's other people in there, I'm going to say, okay, well, I know them. I ain't really going to trip. But would you ever pull up to a public pool full of strangers and just hop in that pool? Well, typically, when we go to pool parties, I'm we don't like, be hopping in yeah. anywhere. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. You wouldn't yeah. do that, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so now. social media is a public pool of opinions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Say it, say it loud. Say it loud. I, say it loud. I, I'm not. I'm not getting myself. You know, I ain't getting myself worked up over a public pool of opinions. Um, I just kind of, you know, I stick my toe in accordingly, and, and and when it get to be too much, I take my ass on home, mind my business. Okay. So speaking of public pools, being a public figure, man, of course that comes with conversations and the media, whether it's good or bad. And, you know, you've been in the game this long, so how do you manage that? Focus on my truth and my purpose. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody tell me about me. 
You dig what I'm saying? Your opinion of me will never overrule my opinion of myself. Your fantasy of me will never overrule my fact of myself, the facts that I know about me, about mine. That's what I'm going, I never, the tail shall never wag the dog. You Some people don't have that self-love like that, though, Tim. Sorry, so you got to tell said, them, it to the people who don't got it. Because I'm just saying, I mean, I, I, mean but I, I mean, I think that, you know, one thing social media has shown us and society at large uh, is one that, you know, anytime a black man is in a position of power and he uses his platform to speak on behalf of the community and to help people who need the most help, that's going to be objected to, challenged, ridiculed. It's gonna, I mean, from, from Malcolm X to John Africa to, you know what I'm saying, anybody to the chairman, uh, uh, Fred Hampton, it, it's going to always be challenged as long as you, you know, trying to be a voice for the voiceless. You just got to believe enough in your purpose to stand up and go on through it. But other people's fantasy and fiction of me will never overrule the facts I know of myself. And and that's good, man, because, you know, like Raylan said, we don't have a lot of self-love, man. Of course, like right now, being a public figure, when you say certain stuff or you see certain stuff, it's like, you guilty until proven innocent instead of innocent until proven guilty. Hey, man, look, bro. I ain't finna get into all of that, man, because to me, that's a bunch of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I know it's a bunch it, people. Now, just as much as I can recognize that it's people out like there who hurting and, 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 who need, and who need a voice and who need to be hurt, I also know it's some desperate, miserable people who will take advantage of any opportunity to g either get themselves in any kind of a position <laughs> at the cost of whatever, or it's some people who will just chime in to some shit even though it ain't got no real truth to it, no validity, no facts behind it, just to take their mind off of the pain that they're in and the suffering that they have from their lives right now. I understand that. Yeah. It's not going to upset my day, though. Hey, come on, Tim. Look, because like it, I said, yeah, because Tim knows his purpose. And speaking of your purpose, look, like, one thing that I can always, we can always commend you on is, you know, speaking out for our community, speaking out when, you know, it comes time to, to stand up in our political system. So, you know, I know you were very vocal and active when it came to, you know, turning over the Senate in Atlanta. But when it comes to the Biden administration now, we got, you know. All of these are very important points. I'm glad that you mentioned it. Yes, yes. All of these things are very important. All of these things you just mentioned are very important. You know yes. what I'm saying? Because people have been attacked a lot more for a lot less. Mm. <laughs> Come on now. Look. But so go ahead, with, go ahead, go ahead. No, go no, ahead. no, I'm saying, but with the Biden administration, because I know you are so vocal and you use your platform, you know, to, to be the voice for the voiceless. What is something, now that we have these people in office, what is something that you're like, you know what, with the Biden administration, I want them, we're going to hold them accountable for this, or what is something that you really want to work with them on so that way, you know, we feel like these years that we do have Biden in office are not wasted? Um, I mean, man, I think that, you know, the minimum wage is a big thing. Uh, and, you know, uh, especially during the time right now of, pan uh, of the pandemics, you, the 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 pushing through the stimulus checks at the highest number possible. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> yeah, but you know, I think for real, bro, it's the, the, the lack of education, uh, the lack of opportunities, and the lack of exposure are what mm -hmm. plague our communities right now. You dig what I'm saying? So however, whatever programs or policies, whatever we could put in place, man, uh, to, to just increase the amount of opportunities that our people have access to, uh, and, and, and the amount of education, the level of education or the quality of that education that our children have access to and the level of exposure that the generations and the community has access to because exposure is important because that allows us to dream. That tells us what's possible. That lets us set our ambitions accordingly if we're exposed to the right things at the right time in life. And some people don't got the resources to be exposed to the right things at the right time, too. So This is true. This is true. I think that's why, you know, that's where people who have more are supposed to kind of like, you know what I'm saying, fill the gaps whenever possible for people who have less. That's why, you know, Harris Community Works is incredibly important. We do everything we can to give back. Uh, that's why uh, uh, us or else is incredibly important. 
Uh, that's why, you know, people like the Relief Gang, man, and, and, and Trade the Truth in, in Texas, incredibly important. Um, because, you know, the government ain't going to never see about us the way that, the way that they should. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It don't matter who in office. People in power with the 1% of the world, they never going to see back the other 99% because if that was the case, they would cease to be the 1%. You know what I'm saying? So they need certain people to depend on the system so that system can remain intact. I understand that. So we can't look to them to do everything. Get as much out of them as we can, fill in the gap with the people who have more abundance and who have more, you know, more well with all. Yes. Okay. You know, Tim, Tim be having his hands in everything. But yes. of course, like, we all want to know, man, are we ever getting this ATL too, bro? Are we, are we going to get it? Uh, yeah, it's quite possible. It's quite, quite possible. possible. <laughs> I mean, that's not a yes or no, but you know, I mean, it's quite possible. And or. Hey, man, let me tell you something, man. We had a green light on ATL 2, man, since 2017, okay. I think. Okay. Hey. Yeah, we done had a green light. We done had a story. We done had, you know, I think we just, timing. It's all, it's all, it's all about timing. Be and right. whenever the time is right. Uh, everybody's already agreed that we would do it. You know what I'm saying? The the studio has already agreed that they'll distribute it and and fund it. Uh, and and Chris Chris Robinson has already agreed to direct it. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's just about the right timing. Okay. Well, whenever the time is right. I mean, because you know now everybody making sequels to like all these old movies. Right? I think Atlantis <laughs> is kind of like one of them that we were looking for. But how many of them are good? Well, because that's okay, what we need to because that's that's what we need to pay attention to. I will say this: best that's man to holiday. Pay to. How many of them are good? You did. Best man holiday was good. It, it got me. But now they're doing a series for that. It got me. That was a good follow up to best man. Was okay. Yeah, that was one. Okay, you said it was a lot though. You said um, it was a lot of them. Okay, so I don't really know. I don't really like sequels. I'm like, right, what, what, I'm what, a very okay, what about Big Mama's House to Big Mama's House Two? Oh, no, you didn't. Nah, I nah, they could have saved that shit. Nah, they could have saved that shit. I fuck with Martin, but they could have saved that shit. That one, wasn't, that wasn't the one. That, that wasn't, wasn't no, no, no. It probably made money, and if it made money, you know what I'm saying, and you know, help diversify his portfolio, then hats off. But that one, that you know, I will say this: the Bad Boy series, we needed. Okay, yeah, that was dope. One, that was dope. Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit dope. We need it. But ATL two is the one that everybody really wants. If, okay. if it if it if you ever see it, it will be better than the first. I, I and we're not gonna do it so. unless we have strong indicators, you know, that it's gonna be better than the first. Okay. Okay. But well, look, you know what? I know you have also have we have a, a pressing question when it comes to just like you know music in general. Uh -huh. ownership, right? Oh, yeah, man. Like, yeah, I want to know, too. Like, we've been having this conversation about ownership. Like, mm -hmm. do you own all your masters? Uh, I either own my masters or I have reversion where, you know, I partner with a distributor and they have a time, a period of time where they mm -hmm. can kind of collect a portion of my masters. But after that reversion period, they come back to me and my family or my estate. If I'm not here, do you suggest that people? Because I mean, I never heard of that. Do you suggest that's like a good thing right there for people to have? Uh, yeah, reversion periods. You know what I'm saying? That's what most cats do. You know, most of the cats who's talking about they own their master. That's what they talking about. They saying it like you know, like if I sign a deal today, you know, and I put some out because I accepted the money that the label gave me. I yeah. am allowing them to you know they can collect on my masters for a period of time. Sometimes that period is five years, sometimes it's seven, sometimes it's 10, sometimes it's 20. Okay. You know what I mean? But after that period of time, it comes back to me and I then collect on my masters. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, during this quarantine tip, you know, you put, you put out an album last year, uh, mm -hmm. Libra, you know, in mm -hmm. honor of, of your, your sign, your Zodiac sign. So <laughs> yeah. this, Not just this. mine, man. You know, it's a whole host of us out there. You dig what I'm saying? Wait, the Libras uh, that are in the rap game, you got Snoop, you got Jeezy, you got Eminem, mm -hmm. you got like, it's like a whole list. Will Smith, of Will Smith and I actually share the exact same birthday. Okay, see, it's, a, it's yeah. a lot of, it's a lot of Libras. And Michael Douglas too, you know what I'm saying, for whatever it's worth. 
That got okay. you a little bit out of hip hop, but you know what I'm saying, but still. Okay, look, and Shanti and Keisha Cole, they were two people that battled it out during the verse. Yeah, I think Wayne too, man, if I ain't mistaken. Oh yeah, Wayne is also a Libra. Yeah, I think Wayne is well. Huh? He is a Libra, so yes. shout out to Cardi. It's a lot. You dig what I'm saying? So, so basically, we're pretty much running this shit, is basically what you're saying. <laughs> okay. I knew that was coming. Like, so basically, okay. we killing yeah, it So we pretty oh, much okay. got this motherfucker on tilt, is what you're saying. <laughs> but during this time, like, how, like, what has the music process been like? Because, I mean, it's hard to maybe, like, collaborate with certain people. It's quarantine. Uh, how are I live you in Atlanta. To create? Huh? I live in Atlanta. Oh, yo, oh, y'all wild. Man, we've been, listen, bro, I've been at the studio, uh, you know, I think probably three, four times a week. Whenever Thug ain't in there, Thug won't, you know, Thug pretty much done kicked me out my studio. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> Him and Duke and Gunner and Oomfo, like, they, YSL has pretty much put me out my studio. <laughs> You know, but you know what I'm saying? They they family. But yeah, man, I, we, Atlanta, we don't have them problems in Atlanta. Yeah, I don't have, we don't have them problems problem. in Atlanta. Uh -uh. Nah, man. And then, you know, we got our neighbors. We have, uh, so my studio is here. Future, his studio next door. Okay. QC, like right across the street. Um, Outcast <laughs> is, uh, is probably a, half, a quarter mile up. Uh, so like it's probably a, a two mile radius with seventeen studios. I will be bombing every studio. Not I'll be like door. crashing everyone. Like, That's hey, really how you get on. Be knocking right on the door. Like, That's really how you, you get on. Bro, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me really, that's why it's no excuse. It's no yeah. excuse for artists to be trying to figure out how to be discovered. In Atlanta, you got twenty five studios. If you ain't, <laughs> you know what I mean, mixing and rubbing shoulder with the right people, there's something wrong with you. Nah, I mean, that's that's dope that y'all can all work together. But Tip, like, what do you think or what do you know is your biggest accomplishment thus far in your career? Outside, of, like, even if it's music, movies, the, the shows, your biggest Man. accomplishment thus far. My biggest accomplishment? Man, to be honest, I, I'm going to always feel like my children are my biggest accomplishment. You did. Uh, <laughs> to remain intact uh, with, with, with all my family. I ain't never, I got the same people who I came in the game with. You know, my children, my wife, my, yeah. you know, my mama, I ain't never, I ain't never had to take them from nobody. You know what I'm saying? And I mean that by, if I owe somebody, I paid them. I ain't have to weasel like no deal. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no, you know, I just don't have that kind of bad energy. I ain't never really handled my business like that. It's always been straight up. Cause at the end of the day, no one thing can support this lifestyle yeah. you know what i'm saying it got to be a collection of of of, six, uh, of of things that go well that allow you to end up here and along with the blessings of the big man so i think that's to me that's it that i made it here man without having to stay out nobody in the back without having to burn no bridges or, you know what i'm saying uh, i maintain my integrity man and, and, and my spirit's still intact yeah Speaking of your kids, like you were saying, that's your biggest accomplishment. Do you feel that because of who you are and how self-aware you are of yourself, that you've given them like the tools to when things are said in the media or things are just said, period, that they know how to handle themselves because, you know, they had to learn from, you know, from you, the, the greatest, the king? Well, I mean, listen, you know, uh, I, I I I did an interview not too long ago with, with Jay Prince, man, uh, and he told me something that stuck with me. He said it's going gonna, it, it's gonna to be more caught than it is it's going to be taught. Mm -hmm. They don't see you doing things and model themselves out after what they see more than they model themselves after what you tell them to do. Yeah. You know, so uh, I know they seen me face many storms. You did. And, and, and they they've observed, you know, the manner in which I walk, I handle the adversity, and I hope that that can only be an example. Yeah. Uh, however, I also hope that you know the kind of adversity that I've seen will never be the kind of adversity that they see. Definitely, of course. A hundred percent, man. I want to talk about another platform you got. You got a whole social justice platform, yeah. us or else. How yeah, are you yeah. utilizing that to drive your mission? Man, us as man, for real, man. I I just want to I want to be a, a a megaphone for the people. You okay. dig what I'm saying? It's things going on out here, man, and it's not getting enough attention. 
uh, for a few reasons, because there's so much going on, and, and, and because, you know, a lot of times the stories don't get big enough uh, for major media. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, people like Tamika Mallory, Sean King, Charlemagne, uh, and us or else, you know what I mean? We here to kind of shine a light on the right things and bring it to the attention of the public so the culture can do what it needs to do to push forward on behalf of the people. Okay. Yeah. We, so then, we, we love to see it. Yeah, no, I know. T- <laughs> what did T.I. going to do? He's going to make sure we, we okay. What, the what thing okay, is Tiff going to do? Tiff going to make sure. He's going to do his part, okay? All right, look. Hey, so Tiff, let's get into some questions real quick. Oh, yes. Let's put the, we, the uh, comments back, back, back. For sure. Up. We allow you to go go handle your, your biz naive in the, in the front yard. All right, Man, so y'all, you know comments. It. I ain't got nothing but some leisure. Nothing but leisure today. Hey. I love this little love to see. I want to get into some leisure. I'm about to say it again. Uh, half of this. <laughs> 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 Let's get into these comments. Let's see what they got to say. All Everybody right. just say hello. Of course, yeah, we got we got the king in here. Let's see. All right, so hold on. Let me let me see what y'all questions. Y'all got a lot yeah, of questions, y'all. Oh yeah, y'all do got Ooh, a lot of questions. Child. Okay, let's see. Let's see. People just love you too. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, hey. uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> let's, let's, see, see. let's see, let's see. People ain't coming with anything. Let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, we look. We look at y'all. Are you sure? It's like a lot of like, we love you. We love you too. She is. Yeah, the, sure. the, the questions sure. are sure. a lot of everything. I'm about to say the questions all over the place, man. Yeah, like, a hold on. Mess. A little spillage on out tip. All right, so how about how, how about this tip? Like, I, I see like a couple of questions about this. At, at this point in your career, how do you respond to certain beats? Like when you have like issues with different rappers and people still calling you out. Because you handle them differently you than know? back in the day. Yeah, because it's, it's a little different. <laughs> I don't really care anymore. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell y'all what I do, right? So I wake up, you did, and, you know, it's usually early. I used to stay in bed probably to about, you know, about 12, 1. But every day, right, I wake up, get my dog, and I come out here, man. And I say, God damn, God, you sure fuck with me, huh? Hey, that's a that's a that's a we big did. Yeah. So I mean, I don't really know nothing that's finna make me, you know, that just gonna make me forget that take me out. You know what I mean? It just don't matter. I've been blessed abundantly and made it way further than anyone could have expected me to be. And it's been decades. Facts. So I don't really see a reason to even exert any emotion or energy into it. You know what I mean? Now, if we're talking about something that, you know, if it's talking about whether your verse is going to be good as mine, all right, well, let's try that. You know what I mean? Let's try that. Let's see how that come out. Let's see how that work for you. If they do, uh, you know what I mean? But I don't really want to just go back and forth in a public pool of opinions. That could, that could be a new I'm way for me, though. <laughs> that could be a new way for facts. Definitely. Okay. All right, let's see. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, my boss. This is my boss. My boss. What you say? I'm trying to eat my slime. Oh. Okay. Well, don't let her eat the slime. Oh, okay. we got this the, little Miss Aris here. We got the young girl. Yeah, you want to say hello? Hello. What's oh, up, young? What's up? She said, let me step into she the same room real quick. Very polite, as always. Oh, little oh, queen. So what yeah. what's she up to today? I'm huh? Nervous. She's always she has the vocabulary of of you, uh, so we already know <laughs> she's going. We work crazy. on our words, you know. We work on our words. She 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 sits still and retains enough, you know. Surprisingly enough. No, I bet little Aries. Uh, she's just going too. Let's see. I mean, Let's see. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Audience. Like the questions all over the place. Yeah, Tip, before, before we. Before we get you to step up the shade room, is there anything you want to talk about? To clear the air before we. No. Mm mm. Clear what air? He said straight like that. He leave her like I said. He was saying what he said. He mean what he means. Clear what air? Air clears hair where I'm at. Hey. 
Tim said, I'm not going to the pool today. Like, I got the own pool. I got my own pool. I don't need that. What Look. that man? The air is extremely clear, man. Everybody find a way to love yourself today, bro. Because if you don't feel shit about yourself, you ain't gonna feel shit about nobody else. Yeah, you know I mean, so find a way to love yourself, improve yourself. You know what I mean? And you'll be a better person than everyone else around you. Hey, come on, that's Tim. no better. That's a better. That's no better way to end the live when it was that. Like, <laughs> come on, Ti. Thank you so much for stepping into the room. Appreciate you for stepping into the room, my God. All right, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Love and respect. Yes. Right, Thank you. We'll see minute. you. Wait. Oh wait.